dragged him out of retirement for this. And uh, Frank actually has two unique products uh, I believe he's going to share. And um, one of them is actually a good way for some beginners to kind of get into the hobby, which is kind of unique. And I thought it was a really good point that he wanted to share because a lot of people get scared of DCC. Oh, DCC, it's so scary. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And we got to get over that stigma. And Frank has a great product if you're in, stuck with the standard DC, but you want some functions and kind of want to dip your toe. And uh, Frank, you want to talk a little bit about your, your uh, product? You're on mute. You're on mute. Take, I'll take you sure. off. Sorry about that. Hang on one uh, second. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You're off. Uh, you're good. You're good, Frank. I'm good? Yeah, you're good. You you're me? good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I could hear you. I could hear you now. Can you hear me? I could hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> I, I hear you. Can you hear me? No? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Got me off to a bad start here. I, I put the mute button on. Sorry about that. No problem. No problem. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, MRC, I was going to talk about two products, as you just uh, pointed out. Um, I'm going to go to our DCC systems first and talk about them. Okay. And then we'll get into this uh, other unit, which is called the Tech 6. Um, one of the things that when we got into DCC that I felt was very, very important was keep the, simples, uh, keep the systems as simple as possible for a customer to understand how to use them. We tri tried to get a lot of the technical jargon and put it into easy words and keep it simple for uh, people to use. Um, yet we wanted to keep them kind of feature rich. So we tried to do that when we developed all of our DCC systems. And I'm gonna take one of our units and just go through some of the features of it. And then I'll get into the tech six. Um, the unit I'm gonna talk about is one of the more popular ones. It's called our uh, Prodigy Advanced Squared. Uh, the Prodigy Advanced Squared comes with three components, a console, a, um, a power supply, which is, gives you, provides three and a half amps and a throttle control. Now with the console, one of the nice things about it, it does have three jacks on the bottom. So three users can plug into this without having to buy any extension plates or anything else. So it's a pretty uh, nice feature on the uh, console. The handheld or walk around um, is, has a pretty large screen. Um, and one of the big things that we've done on all of our systems is we put quick start instructions on the back. So when you buy the system and let's say you're not using it every week and you forget, gee, how do I do this or how do I do that? You can refer to the back of your console, uh, your back of your tank, and it has all the instructions. Um, the other thing that we have on this is um, this system will program on the main track or program on a a uh, programming track. It has readback features. It has a fast clock, which can be adjusted to uh, various uh, time ratios. Um, we do offer advanced and universal consisting. And we have a, um, a recall feature that allows you to have, keep a roster of 25, the last 25 addresses that you play, put on the locomotive. Um, we have a yard feature that allows you to, instead of moving the throttle to increase the speed, and get to max and then have to hit reverse button, you can go forward in one direction and then go in the other direction and you'll go in the, uh, turn the dial in the other direction and you'll go in the other direction, which makes it nice when you're doing some yard work. Um, we have a button for accessory decoders, routing button to control multiple track uh, switches at one time. And um, we do offer uh, uh, 28 functions on the uh, system, which is common in all the systems these days. All of our systems do carry a three year warranty. We do have a couple of other systems. One that's a one and a half amp Prodigy Express squared unit. Um, if you buy this handheld, all of the features that you need um, on the, or you want on the advanced squared can be upgraded with the Prodigy Express by buying this handheld. And we have a Prodigy Elite, which is an eight to 10 amp unit available as well. And it has a higher voltage rating for G scale. Um, all of our systems um, can be converted to wireless as well. 
One of the nice things too is our new um, Wi-Fi module. Uh, Dan was talking about it a few minutes ago. This is a really neat little gadget. With this, with using either Y throttle or engine driver, you can operate you're using your cell phone to control your trains. And all you do is take this little device, plug it into your cab on any one of our Prodigy consoles, download the app, iPhone use uh, Y throttle. If you're using an Android, you'll use the uh, engine driver. This is a screen, I, I'm sure you guys can't see it real well, but this is my iPhone and it'll allow me to control my throttle It'll allow me to control the function buttons, uh, change direction, and also you can put a full roster of locomotives on the iPhone as well. What's really nice is if you have guys coming over after this virus thing comes over, goes away, a bunch of guys come over, each guy can have a, their phone connected uh, with this app and all of them, up to eight of them, can use uh, their phone to operate the locomotives on your layout. You can also, uh, one nice thing is you can uh, have it so there's no programming on any of these. So it keeps it safe for uh, use for a, even a beginner using this throttle on a um, you could, on your layout. Guess, you could probably layout. social distance with that, Frank. Six feet apart. <laughs> That's right, excuse me. All right, good, good. Um, now I wanted to get into the Tech 6, which is my um, thing I really... Uh, I, when I go to trade shows, one of the things I see, there's a great number of people out there that are still afraid of DCC. You've mentioned it, uh, Ken. Um, I think a lot of the new people, younger people, they jump right into DCC. But a lot of the older guys or guys that have been in this industry a long time or hobbying uh, for a long time are still afraid of DCC. And, or they have a, a ton of old non-decoder locom non locomotives and are afraid to convert them or can't convert them to DCC. So we created a device that kind of helps them out. And it's called our Tech 6. Um, this is a two amp unit. And the nice thing about it, it allows you very simply to control either a standard locomotive or a DCC decoder equipped locomotive. So I can run all my trains then in my, my house using this device. The simp this is how simple it is. I will just push this one button that says mode and it'll yellow light will come on. That's for standard. I put a standard locomotive on the track and it's just a nothing more than a power pack with momentum. So you can adjust the slow speed, uh, how fast the locomotive uh, acquires top speed and slows down, but other than that, it's that in a, in a uh, direction button. That's all it does, but that's all you can do with a standard locomotive. Now, I put a decoder equipped locomotive on the track, push the button again, a little red light comes on, and now I can tr control a decoder equipped locomotive. I can get all 28 functions by just pushing the buttons. Uh, button one, for instance, will give you your bell, just like a standard DCC system. Button two gives you your horn. And as you get more up on the buttons, obviously every decoder manufacturer has different uses for those buttons. Also, you can obviously turn on the light. You can also do programming and you can also do a CV adjustment on this. The back also has quick start instructions. So for the customer that's a little bit leery of how to do something, refer back to the back of the unit and it'll tell you how to do it. So what we're able to do, run either a standard locomotive or a decoder equipped locomotive. But there's something else. We created a walk around for that cab. The cab obviously, as uh, Dan mentioned, cabs are nice in the sense that you can be a little bit more mobile. You can move around with them. And this cab will allow you to control up to six locomotives, decoder equipped on your layout. And it, the programming is very, very simple. And I'll just give you an example. All I have to do is hit the P button and one, and my locomotive becomes locomotive number one. P, two, and I've got locomotive two running. So I can have six locomotives, all decoder equipped, running on my layout. I have a screen. It gives me the functions. 
uh, shows me the functions that are uh, operating. And I can do all 28 functions on this as well. And I can do programming of uh, or adjustments on CVs as well with this little unit. So it can be very advanced to a certain level, that is. Or you can keep it really simple. And for a lot of guys, they want to hear a horn. They want to hear a bell. They want to be able to turn our lights on and off, leave the locomotive sitting there at idle and have the, um, the chuff or the diesel rumble synchronized. And this little guy will do it. And this both units will do it for you and keep it simple. So it's a hybrid between DCC and DC, but it's a great way for customers to get involved in the hobby or this part of the hobby and still utilize all their own old uh, locomotives. And um, those were the, the two uh, things I wanted to kind of uh, talk about today. And uh, any, if you guys have questions afterwards, I'd be more than happy to kind of answer them. And I will say one other thing. Uh, in all the years I've been in this industry, I have to say that I think, as in, I'm very proud of our industry in the sense that all of these guys talking today and in, when I go to trade shows, everybody is very, very, in, is very, very customer service oriented. Um, all of us work very hard to try to give the customers uh, time and uh, help answer any questions. And I think that's uh, commendable to everybody in this industry. Without and a done. doubt. <laughs> very well said, Frank. And uh, we Thank appreciate you. that. And, uh...